News 46 is brought to you by Golden Casino Group, where you'll always find great fun, good food, and fantastic entertainment, all at Gold Town, Lakeside, and the Pahrump Nugget. News is also brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Call 727-9900 today for your free consultation. If you need a lawyer, you need Nelson. Tonight on News 46, a couple of friends come forward to talk about a murder victim, and the State Welfare Department receives a prestigious award. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Deanna O'Donnell. News 46, local coverage you can count on. Friends, remember a murdered mom. It's Friday, August 3rd. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. Well, who is Dawn Liebig? Friends, speak out to give us an idea of this woman that was allegedly killed by her own children because they say they couldn't take her complaining. Local woman Laverna Roof met Dawn Liebig a number of years ago when Laverna did a Facebook post offering services of rides into town. She messaged me shortly after her son ended up wrecking her truck, asking for a ride to town. Well, I ended up taking her and her mother into town, and I was giving them rides frequently about two, three times a week mm -hmm. into town. She would always go and visit Michael, her son, um, and put money on his books. So there were a few times I dropped her off at the jail a couple of times so she could put money on his books for him. From my experience, she was one of those people who would l quite literally give you the shirt off her back yeah. if you were ever in need of it. She did struggle a lot financially, but and she did have a couple of complaints, but for the most part, she always tried to see the bright side of things. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about her sons. Did you ever meet them? I only met them briefly. I did go to school with her older son, Michael, mm -hmm. the one that originally went to jail. Mm -hmm. um, I only met the, the other two boys briefly when she would ask them to come out and help her load the groceries into the house and stuff. That was about all the interaction I had with them. What about her other son? She has another one, Danny? Um, she ended up kicking Daniel out shortly after I started giving them rides because she discovered that him and his wife at the time were using and abusing drugs in her house, and she didn't want that in her house. We've had reports from neighbors that she was using drugs. Did she seem like a drug user at the time that you knew her? Um, she didn't appear to be, and of course I work with the general public, so I see a lot of the drug abusers. She didn't appear to be using or abusing any drugs herself. She might have been on some prescription medications. She was a little hyperactive, but I attributed that more to her personality because I am also the same way. Yeah. In the last few months, she's been writing some depressing Facebook posts. You were keeping up with her on those? Um, a little bit. I tried to uh, to just kind of attribute them to the fact that she had to kick her son out, and she, that, that really hurt her because she really didn't want to do that. She did tell me a little bit about her sons, about how she had some, some behavioral issues with a lot of her sons. A lot of them have, have the same issues as the older Michael yeah. does with the, the extreme bipolar and stuff. But for the most part, when she did talk about her sons, which was very often, she, it was mostly nothing but love. She yeah. absolutely adored them. She lived for them. Today, News 46 also spoke to Beth Croisdale, who is a friend and former co-worker of Don Liebig. Beth spoke to us on the phone from Illinois. Beth, tell me how you know Don Liebig. I worked with her at the Love Ranch for close to two years. She was a shift manager. She was very outgoing, had a great personality. She was happy, bubbly, 90% of the time. What about her relationship with her children? Did she ever talk about them? Did you ever meet them? Oh, yes. She talked about them all the time. They were everything to her. Did she talk to you about her having cancer? Yes. Um, when she started at the ranch, actually, she was telling me that she had thyroid cancer. They were going back on forth on whether they could take care of it or whatnot. Did she have a good diagnosis for that, or was the diagnosis poor? It was back and forth on different experimental treatments they were trying. Did you ever know her to use any uh, illegal narcotics? No. And then what was her feelings for her kids possibly using them? That was not something that she would have tolerated. And then, um, but she was pretty close, like you said, she lived for her boys. Oh, absolutely. 
And the final report has been released by Las Vegas Metro for the one October mass shooting that took place in Las Vegas last year. Police describe in the report other concert venues that shooter Stephen Paddock considered. Every move Paddock made le leading up to the sh slaying of 58 people, as well as how many people reportedly were injured, which accounts for over 800 directly, and takes into account the 22,000 concert goers named as victims, as well as the general public outside that venue on that horrific night. Still no direct motive has been revealed for the senseless killing after Paddock took his own life inside the hotel room in the Mandalay Bay. To view the entire report, you can find it on KPBM's Facebook page. News 46 will return in just a moment.